this is my 25 Days Until Christmas mini album, which I made this past December. It was inspired by the Allie Edwards Daily December Project on her blog, and I wanted to show you what I did. I took pieces of chipboard, I just had 12 by 12 sheets of chipboard that I cut down um, to 6 by 8 to make the pages, and then these are 2 inch rings. Almost all the papers in here are from the Making Memories Fa La La line, which was this year's Christmas line from Making Memories. Um, and then there are a few other things. Here are some American Craft stickers, and I use the Marvi Uchida Scallop Circle Punches and the Fiskars Treading Water Border Punch. Um, I love these little Making Memories letters. I use them quite a bit. This stamp here is also from the Making Memories Fa La La line. I just decorated it with a white Uniball Signo pen. Then this tab is from McGill and it's their file folder punch and that's a Making Memories stamp. And I just wanted to make sure that I would have plenty of places to journal. So, um, there's definitely lots of space for journaling and for photos. These smaller half sheets are 4 by 6 and my rings are a little too small for this. I need to get some bigger rings. But I put photos on the back of those. Then this is more from the Making Memories Fa La La line. I loved these holly berry brads. They are so cute. These numbers that you see on each of the pages came from a 12 by 12 sheet in the Fa La La line, which had um, numbers 1 through 25. This flower is by Prima. It's actually two flowers. It's a small flower layered over a large flower. And the green was just a little too bright of a green, so I distressed it by stamping on it with a handwriting stamp in a dark brown chalk ink. And then here's some of their die cut paper and a little poinsettia with a brad. I love their die cut paper. And then another use of the treading water punch from Fiskars. This is a foam Christmas tree, glittered, uh, adorable, I love it. And then this, you know, I made accordion so that it would have plenty of space. Again, then it also flips down for journaling and more pictures. This is an epoxy accent from Making Memories. And this is my favorite scenic group paper. It's the worn blue grid, and I use it on just about everything. These snowmen are from Hero Arts. They're stamps, and I just stamped them a couple times, and then, you know, in different colors, and then cut out, like, things like the scarf and the hat and paper piece to them on. And then this is uh, from another stamp set from... Oriental Trading Company, and then this is just direct to paper ink um, with my chalk inks. And then there's more space for photos on the back of those two four by six sheets. Um, this is uh, also from Making Memories. It's a um, poinsettia, and here are some super cute rub-ons um, that they had, and this is a metal accent here. And then here's their glitter paper. You can see it's very sparkly. That just opens up. And these snowflakes are also from Making Memories. They come with crystal brads, but I actually just added some Ranger glossy accents in the center so I could put some glitter. Um, these glitter brads are from Making Memories. Um, 
and also the treading water punch again and then I did some faux stitching doodling um, to frame this picture and then these you can see are um, these tiles are Tim Holtz fragments that I put on making memories pattern paper again I just use glossy accents to adhere those and then um, glued them on, cut them out and glued them down. This is some of the Making Memories music note paper that I just pleated to make it look like a ribbon and here's more of those foam trees. This is from the same set. There's a lot of trees and stars in that set. And then here's the McGill punch again some brads and this paper and, and this paper are from Pink Paisley and then this just opens for more photos. Um, here's a Marvi Uchida punch again right here and more of that scenic group background paper. I just cut out some pieces of it and sprinkled it all over and then here's um, that Making Memories die cut. That's the other half of the one that you saw earlier. This is Pink Paisley. Um, these trees are part of a pattern paper also from Pink Paisley that I cut out with my craft knife to make a little border. And this is my husband and that's the tree at Epcot Center which it looks like he's wearing as a hat. I thought that was pretty hilarious. And then also from Epcot Center, here's me in a phone booth, and I loved the sparkle glitter paper with the red from the phone booth. And then these are epoxy shapes, also from Making Memories, um, part of the Fa La La line. Here's another epoxy shape, very cute. And then here's more um, Making Memories, just another day. Here's a alligators because it's Miami and it's not Christmas in Miami without some alligators. And this page has, this is a metal tag that I put a brad through it and then I just glued it on to the paper. I use glossy accents for that. I use glossy accents for anything shiny or slick. Um, more of that pink paisley paper from the same line as the earlier papers. And um, this is another one of those metal accents and more of those little letter stickers that I love. So this is my husband who fell asleep in front of the Christmas tree. Um, these scalloped squares here are from uh, another one of those Marvi Uchida punches, so those great big ones. And this is Joe Lee's right here. These snowmen, I've had them forever. Now this one, the 22, the number 22 on the set was huge, so I decided to do a gatefold. And there's a picture of my teddy bear wearing Santa outfit. And then here you can see those snowflakes with the crystal brads that they come with. And this is the threading water punch again and more doodling. This page um, has the same, the number sticker and then again the, um, the journaling spot is made from that scenic root paper. This white here is the Making Memories Fox Vellum. It's fuzzy. And then I took it and I don't know if you can see very well, I glittered it. I made this scalloped edge with my corner rounder. Um, and then here's the 25th. This is um, a stamp from the Unity Stamp Company. And it is sort of a distressed musical notes and I just love it. So I stamped it twice on this background. And then again another journaling spot. And another one of those cut out numbers and more of those foam glitter trees and again these are all from the same set there were tons of trees on that so it was really good value um, so that is the 25th there it is I had a ton of fun making it I really like how it turned out and thank you for watching